Hello everyone. Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create this manipulation in Photoshop. So before that if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notifications icon for more contents like these. All the images I used in this video are linked in the description. Make use of them. So let's get started. Open the background. Make a copy of it. Add a Gaussian blur to it. Add a new layer and add a gradient. Set the blending mode to multiply. Add in the subject. Select the pixels in subject. And add a mask. Remove the fringes from the mask by using the smudge tool and smudging the edges. Add in a curves adjustment layer as a clipping mask for the subject layer. This will be used to match the highlights and shadows. Add in a hue saturation adjustment layer and set saturation to zero. Adjust the curves layer to match the highlights and darks of both layers. Clip the hue saturation layer to the subject and adjust the saturation. Add in another curves adjustment layer as a clipping mask and adjust it. Use soft black brush to erase areas inside and the mask to merge the subject with the background. Do this mainly in the areas where the shadow is supposed to fall. Adjust the saturation if needed. Now let's focus on the Rubik's Cube. Place the image on top and select the columns. Press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the selection. Position the columns such that the columns in Rubik's Cube aligns with that of the cube. Set the blending mode to multiply if needed.
Select all the newly created layers and make a new group. Now make a clean selection around the front face Rubik's Cube using Pen Tool. Now with the group selected add in a layer mask. Use the smudge tool to merge the edges. Use a soft round black brush to paint over areas if needed. Make sure to paint in a new layer. Make the background dark using a soft round brush. Duplicate the icons group several times and on one give it a Gaussian blur. Position the blur and scale it if needed. Use colors black and blue to create that dreamy night effect. Save the file just in case. 
Add a new layer. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus E. This merge everything to a new layer. Select everything after this merged layer and make it into a group. Now with the top layer selected go to Camera Raw Filters. Do the needed color grading. It is personal choice and taste. So please hit the bell notifications and subscribe to the channel as this will help me and also will motivate me to make more awesome content like these. Add in the images as overlays. These images are available in the description. Add a curves adjustment layer. Increase the highlights and shadows. Press Ctrl plus I on the mask to invert it. With a soft round brush and white as the foreground color brush on the areas that you want to glow or light up. Decrease the opacity and hardness and play with the brush to get a more realistic image. Now if you liked my video do not forget to like the video and leave a comment on what you think about the video. Also tell me about any video that you wish to see in the coming days. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell notifications to gain access to my videos whenever I post them. So keep creating.